found her on the floor of the shower. There's blood all over the floor. It's on the walls. Jenna had sent out a group text that my mother's died. I'm not a medical examiner. He made the determination that it was consistent with an accidental slip and fall in the shower. He is the expert in his field, and we rely on him. It just sounded so freaky. You went to see a psychic. A medium. A psychic predicts the future. A medium is somebody that speaks to the dead. She said, I know who your friend is. I see that she died from a head injury. Was she ill? And I said, no. She said, well, she's struck in the head. The district attorney's focus was, prove to us this is not an accident. Leslie died as a result of blunt head trauma, and the manor was homicide. To have another medical examiner say, these are multiple blows to the head, you can't walk away from that. It would have been wonderful if I had been wrong. I wish I had been wrong. This was the biggest stunner that we had seen in a very long time. He's accused of killing his wife, Leslie, and covering it up to make it look like she fell in the shower. All eyes were on this trial. They wanted the entire community to know we stand by our dad. We all knew that something was going to happen. Was there something inappropriate that went on with the jury, specifically juror number 12? There were a lot of questions as to whether or not he received a fair trial. Do you have anything no, to say at all? I just want to be with my family. Then please just give us some time. Was this an innocent man who was convicted and will now get his next day in court? Will there be a next chapter to this story? 